that EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2018 is coming toward the end of the show now, but before it ended, we had to come down and look at an installation on a Quicksilver that, well, I've not seen for a little while. It's a little single seat, uh, the basic uh, carriage portion of the aircraft, but mounted on the back is a Hearth engine. I'm Dan Johnson talking with Matt Dander, who knows all things about Hearth and is going to tell me what this engine is about and how it's likely to perform on this single place Quicksilver. Matt, what do, what do we got here? Yeah, this is called the Hearth F23. It's it's a 50 horsepower uh, posed boxer engine, tw 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 two cylinders opposed. Uh, it's very light, only weighs 78 pounds, including electric start, makes 50 horsepower. 50 horsepower out of yeah. it. It no. seems like a really small package, yes. too. I mean, if I ignore the exhaust, there's not a lot of stuff there. Yes. And that makes 50 horsepower. Yep, it makes 50 horse at 6,150 RPM. Uh, this engine would probably not be usable on this plane without some R&D, which we, between uh, Andy at Heavenbound and, and Beaver at Quicksilver, uh, we've worked out all the bugs, and now we have a very slick, nice insulation here. So it's a very small package here, produces 50 horsepower. That's right. Seems yeah. like a lot, but tell me how it does that. Well, because it's an opposed engine, the cylinders are opposed. The block is half as long as an inline. There's half as many bearings. The crankshaft is half as long. Um, there's no fan system. So all that weight is eliminated. Um, this, this is what makes it possible. And on this aircraft, I mean, you can, I can just imagine here, there's, there's nothing really blocking it here uh, if, if the wings are on and everything else. And so you got just tremendous airflow across these two cylinders on each side. That's correct. The slipstream air is coming in here. And by using a belt drive, we lay the prop very close to the cylinders. And when, when a propeller is turning, there's yeah. a low pressure area in front of it. And that low pressure sucks air right through the cylinders. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah. well, that makes a lot of sense. And the, that prop would be right about here. That's only about six inches away yeah. from the back of the engine. Yeah, which is how big the low pressure area is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, it's, a, it's a very nice, clean installation. The amount of power for size. It's a dual ignition engine. Why don't you describe the engine for us? Give us uh, some of the detail about it for folks that aren't familiar with Hearth already. Yeah, it's a 521 cc uh, opposed boxer engine. Makes uh, 50 horsepower at 6,150 RPM. Has uh, 50 foot-pounds of torque at the same RPM. Uh, total weight is with electric start, exhaust, redrive, dual ignition. 78 pounds. That's everything. Yeah, and to give you a comparison, that's nine pounds less than a 447 with recoil. Wow, and <laughs> 10 more horsepower. And 10 more horsepower and, and dual ignition. Yeah, and dual ignition, so yeah. that's a pretty nice package yeah. there. So anyway, in order to make it fit here, we had to rotate the cylinders and put so that the engine mount are up, and then we had to modify this exhaust. But other than that, it's a stock F23 engine. Well, that's not a lot of customization you had to do no, then no, to make it work hard. on this. Yeah, yeah. The exhaust work was the hardest part. But that's just a matter of ordering the engine that way. Uh, and then uh, this, uh, the, the, the engine mounting, this uh, was all done by uh, AirTech. And then the uh, exhaust system we built for them. So it, and it works nice. When, on a little plane like this, this engine's capable of about 320 pounds of thrust. Oh, wow. So you got a 250 wow. pound plane with, with got me in it, and now it's 550. <laughs> and, uh, not uh, quite. Not quite. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, it pretty much climbs yeah, straight a, up. A 50 horsepower, single seat Quicksilver. Does, it used to do, not quite equipped like this, but it used to do okay anyway with a 15 horse Yamaha way a long <laughs> yeah, time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would actually get off the ground and yeah. so forth. It was a little lighter frame in those days, but still, yeah. this is more than three times as much power as that. Exactly. Uh, that is going to make this airplane perform, uh, I, I almost can't imagine. They're going to climb like crazy. One downside of having so much power on an offside is you're limited to five gallons. But, but with this much power, they're able to pull back and they cruise uh, 3,800, 4,000 RPM. Okay, oh and wow. It, so it's going to be quite quiet then, it's too. Qu it's quiet, and in that RPM range, this engine runs extremely lean by design, and they're still only burning two and a half gallons an hour. Oh, is that right? You can get it down to two and a half then. All right, so you're going to burn a bunch if you want to climb like crazy, which yeah. it will do. Oh, yeah. But that's you know, 10 minutes or something, and then you're up there pretty well. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this thing is going to do better than a thousand feet a minute. Probably, yeah. So, so five you're, minutes, you're at five grand. I mean, <laughs> you don't even need to go that high. So you're only running really hard, pulling fuel out for 
Very I'll, short duration. Yeah, a minute or two. And then yeah. if you just want to cruise around the countryside, which this airplane is so sweet at doing, yeah. uh, and this two and a half gallons an hour, wow. This motor is not working hard down there and it's uh, sipping gas. So you can have a good hour flight with plenty of fuel for to get home. Again. Yeah, right, sweet. Which is about the kind of flying time that people do in such an aircraft. Yeah. So it's a really perfect configuration. I know there are people who are probably going going to say, well, it doesn't need that much power, although most people embrace a lot of power. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, why not if it can be this efficient? Yeah. Well, it doesn't need the power, but the, the, the weight factor to stay under 254 is important. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. an important consideration. Yeah. So, yeah, 78 pounds for the entire package. That's pretty amazing. What is the, uh, tell me some stuff about, okay, now, let's say I, I, I bought into the whole line here. I bought the Quicksilver. I bought the engine. I've got it all up. I'm flying it. Now I keep flying and flying for a while. Tell me about overhaul. Tell me about service on the engine. What can I expect on that? Well, the uh, service is performed in Tiffin, Ohio. We we perform warranty service or repair service or at a thousand hours rebuild. Thousand uh, hours. Yeah, this is a thousand wow. hour TBO engine. That we recommend at 500. You send it back, and we do we pull the jugs off, clean all the carbon out, put a new set of rings in. But all the bearings go back in, and the gasket, and the new set of gaskets, and you're ready for another 500 hours. And now I know we, we often shy away from price because folks, these videos can last a long time. Things will change. But what is the rough ballpark cost of that 500-hour job you just described? About 400 bucks. Oh, that's it. Okay, so yeah. you know that's 500 hours of flying. That's less than a buck an hour. That's right. You know, if, if a lot of airplanes that are do this, they figure ten dollars, fifteen dollars an hour just for maintenance. Yeah. This is way, way less than that. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, well that's a lot of good information about Hearth, but you got a whole line of engines. I don't want you to do all the detail on all of them, but tick off the your most popular engines that you're selling these days. Yeah, uh, this this one over the last two years has become our most popular. But our, is that right? The F23. Yeah. Now? Wow. yeah. Well, I'm not surprised given the package yeah. you described. And then, uh, the 320365 horse. It's a fan cooled engine. That's our second most popular, and then. We make a 40 horse, so it's called a 2702, it's very popular. Uh, we also make a 28 horse uh, single cylinder engine, and then we have some larger engines that are liquid cooled, 84 horse and 100 horse. Okay, yep. great. Well, there's the whole line. Uh, people who want to find out more, and, and there's probably a lot more detail that some true engine guys might want to ask you some questions, or maybe they're just ready to order. Where do we send them on the web, Matt? Well, we're, you can uh, contact us at www.recpower.com. That's our a website and our email address is rpe at bpson.com bravo papa sierra oscar mike .com. all right very good lots of information on hearths over the years because they're on a lot of airplanes and all these kind of airplanes including the great quicksilver here which i've got many hours in as do a lot of people it's kind of the 172 of our space here if yeah, you will my, my very first ride a, a lot of people say something like that. Lights was in a quick you can find all about all of those things <laughs> and much more affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Matt Dander and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh. Okay, thanks you. 